Hey guys, welcome to Flat Top King. Hey, today we're doing a whole different vibe. You can see where I'm at? Go Vols, this is my home, this is where I grew up. I hope you guys enjoy this video. It's gonna be epic. Three recipes going down at a tailgate. Cannot wait. All right guys, we're here. We're about to do an incredible cheesesteak roll up. We got everything out, unpacked, uh, put together. So let me show you what we're working with. Last night, I shaved a ton of ribeye by hand. Of course, if you guys aren't uh, new to it, then you can always take your ribeyes, put them in the freezer for about an hour. Uh, it helps firm the meat up. So when you shave it thin, you can get a thinner slice. So I've got seven huge ribeyes right here that's been sliced thin. We got diced peppers for some. We got diced onions for some. I got my American cheese slices to go down that cheese steak. And this is the extra that I did. We've got cheddar and Gruyere mix. We got a smoked Gouda and a sharp cheddar. You guys know I love that orange and white. That's why we're representing today for that cheese because you can't have cheesesteak without cheese. Woo! This is the idea. Ever since we created the pinwheels for that big game that we had coming up, the Buffalo Chicken Pinwheels, incredible, right? The family loved them, we loved them, easy to make. What other way to use a griddle than use a cheesesteak? Today is no different. We got everybody around. I hope you guys can hear me because we're going right now. First thing up, we got our Pit Boss Ultimate Griddle. Of course, we got to hook it up to our propane. It's the portable unit, so you guys can see that we've taken it off. Start putting thin layers down. We're going to come back and season it. Now that we got our griddle full of all that shaved ribeye, Come back and get it with that bold burger rub. It's just a very neutral butter, salt, and pepper. It's one of my favorites. You guys know that. One of the very few times that I say turn your griddle up just a little bit hotter. It's a lot of meat and it zaps the temperature out of your griddle. Don't be afraid to adjust your temperature as needed. I'll back it back down in a minute, but I want to recuperate some of that heat that we lost. This is one of those things where I'm talking about using your griddle to your advantage. We know that when we use a pit boss, the left side is cooler, right? Well, if we lost a lot of heat, you can move that product off your hot zone, allow it to build back up. And what I'm doing, I'm just going in there and breaking up that cheese steak just like this before we add our cheese. And that's allowing this side to heat back up so we can start getting some crusties. Now that I got all this meat chopped up, we're working on a vegetable to start combining everything. I'm gonna keep the peppers and the onions separate just for a minute. There's some people that don't like the bell peppers. Fine with me. One large onion, diced. One large bell pepper plus some small sweet peppers, just diced in for color. Keep it with those same flavors. Bell peppers are cooking. We got our onions translucent. I'm going to mix all the onions and the cheesesteak together. I got that white American. I'm just gonna make one portion and set it to the side. Add just a touch of water. Once all that cheese is mixed up, woo, look at all that goodness. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. Now 
Now we're gonna keep adding that cheese, make it a big old thing of cheese steak. Then we'll let it cool for a minute. Then we'll add more cheese, all that shredded cheese that we did. Just creates a little steam. So much product. Even on a tailgate, out of my comfort zone, I'm still cleaning as I go. Move all the product over, add a little water, get that crap cleaned off of there. All right, all this is melted and blended in. I'm gonna set this off to the side and start letting it cool down. That way we can add our shredded cheese. We're just gonna put the tortillas on the griddle. Warm them up a little bit, make them pliable. All right, let me show you what we got going on. Take that shredded cheese. Definitely go all the way up to the edge because that's gonna be your glue. Take that cheese steak mixture. Just like we did that buffalo chicken mixture. Spread it around all the way to the edge. Then we're gonna roll them up and slice them. Okay, and with that, slice it right down. About that thick. Okay. With all that extra mixture that's not going to work on the edge, just put it right back inside. Look at all that chewy, gooey cheese melting those tortillas. All right, we're on recipe number two. As you guys can see, they've knocked these out. We just quickly made uh, quesadillas out of them because they're going so fast. That's what happened, you just cook on the fly. Let me show what we got here. You guys will refer to this video. This is all that pork that we pulled. This is one butt full. Woo, that fresh pork. We're gonna put it on the griddle, start warming it up, and make some barbecue cheese quesadillas. Perfect for tailgating. Take some of that Heath Riles barbecue rub, just lightly season it, add a little bit more pop. Let me show you what we got. Sliced thin red onions. We got a pepper jack Colby and a half of a block of Gruyere cheddar. Got some Carolina style barbecue sauce for that tang. And then for the kicker, the sweet and spicy pickle chips. Clean that flat top off. Add a little butter. Okay.
spread that cheese out, come back with just a little sliced onion. Hit them with some fresh food. I'm using that sweet, spicy pickle today. A little vinegar style Carolina barbecue sauce. Take some of that leftover pork. And then top it just a little bit more sauce. You know what they say, just like in football, if something doesn't go your way, you audible. The cheesesteak ran out quick. So now here we are, put more cheesesteak down and using the ingredients that we got, little tortillas, a little bit of leftover shredded cheese and sliced onions. Heck, we'll make just little mini quesadillas out of it. All right, it's about three hours till game time. We've got the cheese steaks, we've got the pork tacos. Now it's time for dessert. If you guys aren't having dessert for your tailgate, you got the wrong person cooking for you. Look what we got going on. I got pound cake mixed with butter. Sprinkle some of those jokers with cinnamon. Sprinkle some brown sugar over top. And we're gonna put them face down on the griddle and start melting that butter and brown sugar into the pound cake. We've got our griddle cleaned off from earlier. While our bread's toasting up, I'm gonna start warming up these peaches. Oh yeah, see that brown sugar that's caramelizing? That's gonna give it an extra texture. We're gonna add a bunch of butter. Mix those peaches in all on that surface with all that brown sugar and cinnamon. Come back in with some brown sugar. And then hit it with some of your favorite bourbon, whiskey. As you can imagine, even the food is flying off the shelf, so it's not like we can take good video of the after product, but this is what we got. We got the peaches, the bourbon, the brown sugar, and the cinnamon, and people just line it up with that toasted bread. Then I come back in, because everybody knows, you're gonna have a little syrup, just like that. And then they top it with some of that whipped topping right there. Woo, I said it's great to me, a Tennessee ball, I said it's great. TV, a Tennessee ball! All right, guys, there you go. This is a sample of what it's like to tailgate at Nayland Stadium. We absolutely had a blast. Tons of people walked through. Everything happened so fast. But that's the great thing about tailgating, right? You get to meet people you've never met before. You get to make food that you've never had a chance to make before. This is what it's like on a Saturday in uh, Knoxville. So hope you guys enjoyed the video. Last but not least, check out The Griddle Group on Facebook. If we talk about griddles, talk about life, talk about tailgating, talk about food, right?
Thanks for watching. Don't forget to press that subscribe button, pound the notification button, share with your friends. This one was a blast. All right, guys, there you go. So when they talk about the ball Navy, there it is. You see the boats coming in and out. Right over there is where I grew up.